Surely, you remember the beloved television series from the 80s, Golden Girls. This classic sitcom, created by Susan Harris, won over critics and earned numerous prestigious awards, including the Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Comedy Series. It's been three decades since its final episode, yet many mysteries surrounding its production remain unknown to its audience. Delve into the fascinating world of this show and uncover the secrets that have remained hidden for years. Rue McClanahan, the talented actress who brought the unforgettable character Blanche Devereaux to life in the classic TV series The Golden Girls, had the foresight to ensure her connection with her character would endure beyond the show's run. McClanahan cleverly negotiated a clause in her contract that granted her ownership of all the custom-made clothing worn by Blanche. This provision allowed McClanahan to keep the stylish and flamboyant outfits that helped define her character's flirtatious and vivacious personality. The collection included Blanche's iconic dresses, flashy jewelry, and high-heeled shoes, all of which served as a tangible reminder of the actress's time on the show. In addition to her wardrobe, McClanahan also collected an array of props, souvenirs, and artifacts from her time on The Golden Girls. These mementos included scripts, photographs, and other items that held personal significance for the actress. McClanahan's intention was to share these cherished memories with her loyal fans, giving them a unique insight into the making of this beloved TV series. By owning a piece of the Golden Girls, fans could feel a deeper connection to the characters and the actresses who brought them to life. McClanahan's provision also served as a testament to her pride in her work and her desire to preserve the legacy of the Golden Girls for future generations. By holding on to these physical reminders of her time on the show, she ensured that the spirit of Blanche Devereaux would live on long after the final episode aired. In addition to her on-screen achievements, Rue McClanahan's legacy lives on through a special website created by her friend Mark Lero. This website allows loved ones to choose personal items from her collection. The remaining memorabilia, such as iconic clothing and other artifacts, was put up for public sale. The proceeds from this sale went to specific charities that were close to Rue's heart. This initiative not only honored Rue McClanahan's memory, but also supported causes that she deeply cared about. In the 1980s, the TV series The Golden Girls captured the hearts of many with its unique blend of humor, drama, and heartwarming stories. The casting process for this classic was not without its share of surprises. One such instance was Elaine Stritch's audition for the role of Dorothy. Elaine Stritch, a seasoned actress, walked into the audition room with high hopes. However, she later shared her disappointment at not getting the part. She attributed this to a difference in sensibilities with the writer, who didn't seem to appreciate her sense of humor and took issue with her colorful language. Stritch's recollections offer a fascinating glimpse into the dynamics of the audition process. Despite not landing the role, which eventually went to be Arthur, Stritch's audition left an indelible mark on the production team. Her audition was a testament to her versatility as an actress, even though her humor and language didn't align with the writer's vision for the character. The casting of the Golden Girls was a complex process, with many talented actresses vying for roles. Stritch's audition was just one part of this intricate landscape. Her story serves as a reminder of the subjective nature of casting decisions and the importance of finding the right fit between an actor and a character. In the end, the show became a beloved classic, resonating with audiences for generations. Stritch's audition, while unsuccessful, was a significant part of its history, etching her name in the annals of this captivating TV series. The iconic image of the four golden girls gathered around the kitchen table is instantly recognizable. However, keen-eyed viewers might have noticed that there are typically only three chairs visible. This was no accident, but a deliberate choice made by the show's director, Terry Hughes. Hughes explained that the decision to feature only three chairs was driven by technical considerations. Had they included a fourth chair, one of the characters would have had to sit with their back to the camera. By limiting the number of chairs to three, Hughes ensured optimal camera angles and shot compositions, allowing all characters to be clearly visible to the audience. This meticulous planning and attention to detail were crucial in creating the show's visual aesthetics. The classic setup of the Golden Girls around the kitchen table has become synonymous with the show, and it's hard to imagine the series without it. The show's focus on the relationships between the four women was a departure from traditional sitcoms of the time, which often centered on families or workplaces. The Golden Girls instead explored the lives of four older women living together in Miami, tackling issues such as aging, dating, and friendship with humor and heart. 
Despite the show's age, it remains a beloved classic, with its themes and humor resonating with audiences today. The Golden Girls continues to inspire and entertain, and its iconic image of three chairs at the table remains a symbol of the show's enduring legacy. Betty White, a seasoned actress, was initially considered for the role of Blanche in The Golden Girls. However, producers wanted to avoid typecasting her as a man-hungry character, similar to her previous role as Sue Ann Nivens in The Mary Tyler Moore Show. To showcase White's acting range, they decided to redefine her on-screen persona. As a result, Betty White took on the role of Rose Nyland, a character known for her sweet and somewhat naive nature. This strategic change allowed White to breathe new life into her acting career and ensured that Rose was seen as a distinct and fresh character, rather than a mere rehash of her previous roles. Rose's character was a stark contrast to Blanche's bold and flirtatious personality. Her naivety and innocence added a touch of humor and lightheartedness to the show, making her a beloved character among viewers. Despite initial doubts about White's ability to play a character so different from Sue Ann Nivens, her portrayal of Rose Nyland was met with critical acclaim and cemented her status as a versatile actress. Through her role as Rose, White was able to showcase her ability to play a wide range of characters, from the man-hungry Sue Ann Nivens to the sweet and innocent Rose Nyland. In The Golden Girls, Betty White's talent for acting was on full display as she brought the character of Rose Nyland to life in a way that was both captivating and endearing. Her performance in this classic show is a testament to her versatility as an actress and her ability to bring depth and nuance to any character she plays. In an interview, Rue McClanahan shared fascinating insights into the personalities of her co-stars in The Golden Girls. Contrary to popular belief, the actresses leading this classic TV series led vastly different lives than their characters did. McClanahan herself was often compared to her character Blanche Devereaux, but strongly asserted her individuality. While she played a promiscuous Southern belle, McClanahan couldn't have been more unlike Blanche in real life. Betty White, known for playing sweet and naive Rose Nyland, surprised everyone off screen. According to McClanahan, White had the sharpest wit among them all, a stark contrast to her ditzy character. Estelle Getty, despite portraying the sarcastic and feisty Sophia Petrillo, suggested making the characters Jewish like themselves. Sadly, this idea wasn't adopted, but it shows how diverse the cast truly was behind the scenes. Interestingly, each actress brought something unique to the table. For instance, McClanahan hailed from Oklahoma, which influenced some aspects of her performance. Unfortunately, these rich details aren't immediately apparent when watching The Golden Girls, where the focus remains solely on the compelling narratives unfolding before viewers. In the 1985 TV series The Golden Girls, Rue McClanahan shared a fascinating behind-the-scenes detail about her relationship with co-star B. Arthur. Despite their undeniable on-screen chemistry, the two actresses did not share a close friendship off-screen. McClanahan once mentioned that Arthur was an eccentric individual who had specific routines she preferred to follow. One of these routines was related to lunchtime. Arthur would not go to lunch unless Betty White accompanied her. This revelation offers a glimpse into the complexity of their interactions and the professionalism required to deliver captivating performances despite personal differences. The dynamics between the cast members added depth to the show's storylines and contributed to its enduring popularity. Even though the actresses had their differences, they still managed to create a compelling and entertaining show that resonates with audiences to this day. The show's success can be attributed to the talented cast who brought to life the memorable characters Blanche, Dorothy, Rose, and Sophia. Each actress brought her unique touch to the role, creating a dynamic ensemble that left a lasting impact on television history. The Golden Girls remains a classic example of a well-written and well-acted sitcom that continues to captivate audiences with its timeless humor and relatable characters. The show's ability to tackle serious issues while maintaining a lighthearted tone is a testament to its enduring appeal and relevance. In conclusion, the off-screen dynamics of the Golden Girls cast members, particularly between Rue McClanahan and B. Arthur, added an extra layer of intrigue to this beloved TV series. Despite their personal differences, the actresses delivered memorable performances that continue to resonate with audiences today. The beloved TV series The Golden Girls is known for its iconic cheesecake rituals. However, there were fascinating dynamics behind the scenes related to the cast members' personal preferences. Betty White, who played the role of Rose, chose not to eat any food during filming, making her interactions with Cheesecake even more intriguing. 
Rue McClanahan, Blanche's portrayer, pretended to consume cheesecake, dispelling rumors about her indulging in it. On the other hand, B. Arthur, who played Dorothy, had a dislike for cheesecake and the scenes involving it, showcasing her exceptional acting skills to convincingly portray enjoyment. These quirks added a layer of depth to the show's production, making it even more captivating for viewers. The cheesecake rituals in this classic have certainly left a mark in television history. Will you be watching with a slice of cheesecake? In the mid-80s, a TV series called The Golden Girls captured audiences with its heart-farming stories of four mature women living together and navigating life's ups and downs. Surprisingly, the show struck a chord with an unexpected demographic, teenage girls. Rue McClanahan, one of the actresses, shared that they received many letters from these young viewers who felt drawn to the warm and friendly dynamics between Blanche, Dorothy, Rose, and Sophia. These adolescent fans found comfort in the way the characters related to each other, perceiving it as a glimpse into adult life. They were captivated by the bonds formed among the quartet, often expressing a wish to join the loving surrogate family portrayed in the show. Despite the age gap, the themes explored in The Golden Girls, such as friendship, love, and resilience, managed to strike a universal nerve. For these teenagers, this classic sitcom offered more than just entertainment. It provided them with reassurance during challenging times. By observing how the characters handled various obstacles, these young viewers could learn valuable lessons about coping with adversity and building strong connections. Through the laughter and tears shared by Blanche, Dorothy, Rose, and Sophia, the Golden Girls created a lasting impact on its audience, reminding everyone that camaraderie knows no limits. The Golden Girls, a beloved TV series from 1985, was known for its impressive lineup of guest stars. These notable appearances were a mix of up-and-coming actors and established icons, each adding their unique touch to the show. A young George Clooney, in the early days of his career, graced the screen in one episode. Jeffrey Tambor, who would later find fame in Transparent, also made an appearance. Even Mario Lopez, of Saved by the Bell fame, had a guest role. Quentin Tarantino, the renowned director, even tried his hand at acting in this classic series. The show also attracted the talents of legendary actors like Mickey Rooney, Dick Van Dyke, and Debbie Reynolds. Jerry Orbach, known for his role in Law & Order, also made an appearance. Fred Willard, a master of comedy, brought his unique humor to the show. Burt Reynolds, a popular leading man of the time, also guested on The Golden Girls. The inclusion of these notable guest stars served as career boosters and highlighted the show's broad appeal. It added depth and excitement to various episodes, making this TV series a must-watch for many. The Golden Girls' ability to attract such a diverse range of talents is a testament to its enduring popularity and cultural impact. Even with her extensive career, Estelle Getty, who brought the character Sophia Petrillo to life in The Golden Girls, experienced significant stage fright throughout the series. She lived with a constant fear of performing and not being good enough. Getty's anxiety and feelings of imposter syndrome were shared with humor, as she once mentioned her weekly ritual of stage fright before filming. Despite her apprehensions, Getty's performances on the show were consistently flawless. Her acting skills and professionalism shone through demonstrating her ability to overcome her fears and deliver exceptional performances. Getty's character, Sophia, was a wise, cracking, sarcastic, and quick-witted elderly woman who often stole the show with her one-liners and sharp comebacks. Despite her character's strength and confidence, Getty herself struggled with self-doubt and anxiety. Interestingly, Getty was not the first choice to play Sophia. The show's creators initially considered her for the role of Blanche, but Getty insisted on playing Sophia feeling a stronger connection to the character. Her persistence paid off, and she went on to receive critical acclaim and numerous award nominations for her portrayal of Sophia. Getty's stage fright was a testament to her humility and dedication to her craft. Despite her fears, she never let them affect her performance, and her flawless delivery of Sophia's lines became one of the show's defining features. In the end, Estelle Getty's portrayal of Sophia Petrillo in The Golden Girls remains one of the most memorable and beloved performances in television history. Her ability to channel her character's strength and confidence, despite her own struggles with anxiety, is a testament to her talent and professionalism. In a 2011 interview, Betty White revealed that she and her co-star B. Arthur had distinct working styles, which sometimes led to differences. White, known for her outgoing personality, enjoyed engaging with the audience during filming. On the other hand, Arthur, who played the role of Dorothy Spornak, 
favored maintaining focus and staying concentrated on her performance. This difference in approaches created a unique dynamic on the set of the popular TV series, The Golden Girls. Matthew Sachs, Arthur's son, later shed light on his mother's preference for keeping her attention solely on the scene at hand. He stated that, while White would often engage with a live studio audience, Arthur found it challenging to do so, and chose to remain committed to her character throughout each episode. However, Sachs emphasized that there was never any ill will between the two actresses, and they maintained a cordial relationship even off-screen. Despite their contrasting methods, both White and Arthur managed to deliver outstanding performances that contributed to the success of the beloved sitcom. Their chemistry shone through in every episode, making The Golden Girls a timeless classic that continues to captivate audiences today. Although they approach their work differently, the result of their combined efforts yielded something truly special, a testament to the power of collaboration and understanding among colleagues. Estelle Getty, the actress who portrayed Sofia Petrillo in The Golden Girls, underwent a remarkable transformation to play the role of an 85-year-old woman. Interestingly, Getty was only 60 years old when she began acting in the show, which made her one year junior to her television daughter, B. Arthur. Getty's acting career had already taken flight in New York's vibrant theater scene before she joined the cast of The Golden Girls. Initially, she had auditioned for the part of Dorothy, but her managers encouraged her to take on the role of Sophia instead. Getty's dedication to the character was evident in her appearance, which she altered to fit the part of an elderly woman. The makeup, wigs and costumes that Getty wore helped her convincingly portray an 85-year-old character. However, it was her exceptional acting skills that truly brought Sophia to life. Her nuanced performance earned her seven Emmy nominations and one win in 1988. Getty's transformation was not just physical, but also emotional. She delved deep into Sophia's character, showcasing her sharp wit, sarcasm, and vulnerability. Her ability to convey a range of emotions, from humor to sadness, made Sophia one of the most beloved characters on the show. In summary, Estelle Getty's remarkable age transformation in The Golden Girls was a testament to her acting prowess. Her dedication to the role, including her physical transformation, earned her critical acclaim and enduring fan love. Despite being one year younger than her television daughter, Getty's portrayal of Sofia Petrillo was so convincing that it resonated with audiences and left a lasting impact on television history. Although the on-screen chemistry between Blanche and Dorothy in The Golden Girls was undeniable, it's interesting to note that Rue McClanahan, who played Blanche, admitted to a less-than-warm friendship with B. Arthur, who portrayed Dorothy. Off-screen, McClanahan described Arthur as a very particular and eccentric woman, revealing that Arthur would only go to lunch with her if their co-star Betty White joined them. McClanahan's revelation paints a picture of a complex dynamic between the three actresses, who spent years working together on the beloved television series. Despite any personal differences, the trio, along with Estelle Getty, who completed the quartet of leading ladies, managed to create a captivating and enduring show that resonated with audiences. The Golden Girls, which aired from 1985 to 1992, followed the lives of four older women who shared a home in Miami, Florida. The show tackled various social issues and provided a fresh perspective on aging, friendship, and love. The characters' differences and quirks, including Blanche's flirtatious nature and Dorothy's sardonic wit, created a vibrant and engaging landscape that drew viewers in and kept them coming back for more. B. Arthur, known for her roles in Maud and All in the Family, brought a unique energy to Dorothy, a character who was often the voice of reason amidst the chaos of the group. Her deadpan delivery and sharp comedic timing made her a standout on the show. Rue McClanahan, who had previously appeared in shows like M.A.S.H., and Another World infused Blanche with a vivacious and spirited personality, making her a fan favorite. Her chemistry with Arthur, despite their off-screen differences, was a key component of the show's success. Betty White, who had been acting since the 1940s, brought warmth and humor to the character of Rose, the naive and sweet Midwestern transplant. White's extensive background in comedy and her natural charisma made her the perfect counterbalance to the more sarcastic Dorothy and Blanche. Estelle Getty, who played the feisty and quick-witted Sophia, was actually the youngest of the four actresses. Her portrayal of the outspoken and sometimes acerbic mother to Dorothy added another layer to the show's dynamic. The Golden Girls, with its talented cast and engaging storylines, has left a lasting impact on television and continues to be cherished by fans today. The show's ability to tackle serious issues while maintaining a lighthearted 
and comedic tone has made it a timeless classic that resonates with audiences of all ages. Estelle Getty, the actress who brought to life the character of Sofia Petrillo in The Golden Girls, was known for her unique brand of humor. Getty, who was herself of Jewish descent, suggested that the characters on the show be Jewish as well, which added an extra layer of authenticity to her portrayal of Sophia. Despite the fact that Getty was the youngest member of the cast, she played the role of the matriarch with ease and conviction. Her comedic timing and New York flair helped to make Sophia one of the most memorable and beloved characters on the show. Getty's humor was often characterized by her sharp wit and quick comebacks. She had a knack for delivering lines with just the right amount of sass and sarcasm, which made Sophia a fan favorite. The other actresses on the show have spoken highly of Getty's contributions to the series. Rue McClanahan, who played Blanche Devereaux, once said that Getty's humor was the heart and soul of the show. Getty's portrayal of Sophia was a true testament to her talent as an actress. Her ability to bring laughter and joy to audiences through her humor is a legacy that will endure for years to come. Whether you're a longtime fan of the Golden Girls or are just discovering this classic show, Getty's performance as Sophia is not to be missed. In the hit TV series The Golden Girls, the character Blanche, played by Rue McClanahan, often traded playful banter with her co-star Betty White's character, Rose. At one point, McClanahan humorously remarked on White's intelligence, joking that White's character had nothing but brains and was almost as smart as Blanche herself. This lighthearted exchange showcased the camaraderie and good-natured humor among the cast members. Behind the scenes, the actresses were known for their strong bond and friendship, which translated into the warm and believable dynamic on screen. Despite Blanche's playful jabs at Rose's intelligence, the show never shied away from showcasing Rose's cleverness and resourcefulness. Throughout the series, Rose proved herself to be a quick thinker and a valuable friend to her roommates. In this classic TV series, the characters were well-rounded and relatable, each with their own unique strengths and weaknesses. The actress's chemistry and comedic timing made for a memorable and entertaining show that continues to be beloved by audiences today. The Golden Girls, a beloved TV series from the 1980s, holds a special place in many hearts. This classic not only entertained viewers with its witty humor and heartfelt stories, but it also left a lasting impact on the culinary landscape. In particular, the show's iconic scenes featuring cheesecake have shaped how many people perceive and enjoy this delicious dessert. Throughout the series, the four main characters often shared laughs and conversations over a slice of cheesecake. These moments of camaraderie and connection resonated with audiences, making the simple act of enjoying cheesecake feel like a special occasion. As a result, cheesecake became synonymous with the show, and fans began to associate the dessert with feelings of warmth, comfort, and friendship. Today, the legacy of the Golden Girls lives on in the world of food and entertainment. Cheesecake remains a popular dessert choice, and many fans continue to enjoy this classic treat while watching reruns of the show. The iconic cheesecake scenes have also inspired numerous spin-offs and parodies, further solidifying the Golden Girls' impact on popular culture. In many ways, the Golden Girls' influence on the culinary landscape is a testament to the power of food to bring people together. Whether enjoyed alone or shared with others, cheesecake has become a symbol of friendship and connection, much like the show itself. So the next time you indulge in a slice of cheesecake, take a moment to appreciate the simple pleasure of good food and great company, and remember the enduring legacy of this classic TV series. Rue McClanahan, the talented actress known for her role in The Golden Girls, was eager to emphasize the distinction between herself and her character, Blanche Devereaux. Blanche is a larger-than-life personality a southern belle from Atlanta, Georgia, who is known for her glamorous and extremely sexy demeanor. She is, as McClanahan humorously pointed out, quite the man-crazy character. However, it's important to note that McClanahan herself is not from Atlanta, and her personality is quite distinct from that of Blanche. While Blanche is a bold and confident character who is always on the hunt for her next romantic conquest, McClanahan was a more reserved and introspective person in real life. Blanche's southern roots are a key part of her character, and her distinctive accent and mannerisms are a big part of what makes her so memorable. But McClanahan herself did not share Blanche's background, and she brought her own unique perspective and experiences to the role. Despite the differences between the two women, McClanahan was able to bring Blanche to life in a way that was both hilarious and heartful lieutenant she brought a warmth and vulnerability to the character that made her more than just a caricature. 
and she was able to find the humanity in even the most outrageous situations. In the end, while McClanahan may not have shared Blanche's background or personality, she was able to bring the character to life in a way that was both memorable and endearing. And that is a testament to her skill as an actress, and to her ability to find the truth in even the most exaggerated of characters. The heartfelt connection that the Golden Girls forged with teenage viewers is a testament to the show's powerful resonance. The lines between fiction and reality blurred for the dedicated audience who perceived the characters' lives as a reflection of real-life relationships. The warmth and friendship exhibited by Blanche, Dorothy, Rose, and Sophia provided solace to young viewers seeking comfort in their own lives. As the show gained popularity, it became clear that the characters were more than just fictional representations. Teenagers found themselves drawn to the dynamic and complex relationships between the four women who navigated the ups and downs of life with grace and humor. The show's writers did an excellent job of creating realistic and relatable storylines that resonated with viewers of all ages. Despite being a show about four older women, the Golden Girls tackled important social issues such as aging, sexuality, and gender roles. The show's honest and straightforward approach to these topics helped to break down barriers and challenge stereotypes. Young viewers, in particular, appreciated the show's willingness to tackle these issues head-on. The friendship between the four women was at the heart of the show's appeal. Blanche, Dorothy, Rose, and Sophia were there for each other through thick and thin, providing a model of support and loyalty that many young viewers aspired to. The show's warm and welcoming tone made viewers feel like they were part of the group, invited to share in the laughter and tears of this close-knit community. In many ways, The Golden Girls was ahead of its time. The show's diverse cast and realistic portrayal of older women were groundbreaking, paving the way for future shows to follow in its footsteps. The show's enduring popularity is a testament to its timeless appeal, and it continues to captivate new audiences to this day. In conclusion, The Golden Girls forged a deep and meaningful connection with teenage viewers who found solace and inspiration in the warmth and friendship exhibited by the show's four main characters. The show's realistic portrayal of older women and its willingness to tackle important social issues helped to break down barriers and challenge stereotypes, leaving a lasting impact on the television landscape. In the mid-1980s, a groundbreaking TV series captured the hearts of audiences worldwide the beloved classic, The Golden Girls. This popular comedy featured four mature women living together in Miami, sharing their lives and experiences while navigating through various challenges. While the main cast members delivered outstanding performances, the show also attracted numerous guest stars who left indelible marks on its success. Securing a guest role on The Golden Girls became a highly sought-after opportunity for up and coming actors during that era. Appearing alongside esteemed performers like B. Arthur, Betty White, Rue McClanahan, and Estelle Getty provided valuable exposure to a massive and devoted fanbase. As fans tuned in each week, they eagerly anticipated these special appearances by famous personalities, further highlighting the program's wide appeal. Some notable guest stars included Quentin Tarantino, who appeared early in his career before becoming a renowned filmmaker. His memorable performance demonstrated his versatility even then, leaving an impression on both viewers and casting directors alike. Another prominent figure was Bob Hope, whose cameo brought delight to many, reminding everyone why he remained a timeless icon in entertainment. These celebrated guests contributed more than just star power. Their involvement signified the show's impactful reach across generations and genres. By inviting diverse talents onto the set, the Golden Girls creators fostered an inclusive environment where age, experience, and background did not limit opportunities, much like the vibrant city of Miami itself. As we look back on this cherished piece of television history, it is evident that the Golden Girls transcended typical sitcom boundaries. Its ability to attract accomplished artists from all walks of life speaks volumes about its lasting legacy. To step into this world is to enter a bustling tapestry woven with humor, compassion, and resilience qualities still admired today. Indeed, the footprints left behind by these distinguished visitors have etched themselves into our collective memory, enriching the overall fabric of this unforgettable series. Estelle Getty's portrayal of Sofia Petrillo in The Golden Girls was a true testament to her dedication as an actress. During the final audition, she made a lasting impression by arriving in full costume and makeup, resembling a little old lady. This commitment to the character was not just about acting skills. It demonstrated a deep understanding and love for Sophia, 
Getty's transformation was remarkable. She embodied the feisty, wise-cracking character with such authenticity that it was hard to imagine anyone else in the role. Her ability to bring Sophia to life, from her sharp wit to her poignant moments, was a joy to watch. The makeup and costumes were crucial in helping Getty fully embrace the character. They provided a visual anchor, allowing her to step into Sophia's shoes and embody her spirit. This level of dedication was not just for the cameras. Getty continued to wear the makeup and costume even during table reads, further immersing herself in the role. In conclusion, Estelle Getty's commitment to her role as Sofia Petrillo went beyond acting skills. Her dedication to the character, demonstrated through her appearance during the final audition, was a testament to her love for the role. Through her makeup, costumes, and authentic performance, Getty left an indelible mark on the Golden Girls, making Sofia one of the most memorable characters in television history. Estelle Getty's portrayal of Sofia Petrillo in The Golden Girls was a captivating performance that brought depth and authenticity to the character. Despite playing a woman much older than herself, Getty's acting skills shone through, making Sofia a beloved and relatable character to audiences. Sofia, the outspoken and sarcastic Italian mother of Dorothy, was known for her quick wit and sharp tongue. Getty's portrayal of Sofia was both hilarious and heartwarming as she navigated the challenges of growing older while maintaining her independence and sense of humor. Getty's ability to convincingly play a character many years her senior was a testament to her talent and dedication as an actress. She brought Sophia to life with a nuanced and authentic performance, making her one of the most memorable and enduring characters in television history. Despite the many challenges she faced in her life, Sophia remained a strong and resilient woman, never losing her sense of self or her ability to find humor in any situation. Through Getty's portrayal, Sophia became a symbol of strength and perseverance, inspiring viewers of all ages. In The Golden Girls, Getty's performance as Sophia was a standout, adding depth and complexity to the show's cast of characters. Her portrayal of Sophia was a true testament to her acting prowess, and it will continue to be cherished by audiences for generations to come.